Hey all, Pete here. Out on the trap line this Friday, doing a quick check during my lunch break. Uh, caught a mink here at this little mink set. I'm gonna show you the set. It's uh, a little mink cubby I made out of rocks. I got some sardines in the back of it. Um, there's the, the cubby I created with rocks. You can see the sardine tin back there. Something cleared it out after I caught the mink. Uh, but great little spot for me it just you can make one of these cubbies anywhere with natural things like rocks or digging in the mud digging a hole in the mud um, but I prefer to make natural cubbies instead of using things like mink boxes and stuff so uh, got a nice little mink here today not a big one but last year I caught eight mink in here in this stretch of creek and and, I, and I'm only setting for mink and muskrat or for mink and raccoon because the muskrats just haven't been real plentiful but i'm catching a lot of mink so i figure that might be why there aren't a lot of rats in here so i'm giving the rats a break this year let them uh kind of bounce back but i did want to come in and put some mink traps in to try to keep the mink numbers down so uh been out here traps have been out not quite a week and this is the first mink so that tells me numbers are down because last year i caught eight in two weeks and so at the end of the first week to only have one, I think we got the mink numbers down and maybe the rats will rebound a little bit this year. I'm using uh, number 11. I love the number 11 trap for mink and raccoons. I don't like to use much bigger trap than that for raccoons ever. Once in a while, I'll use a number two for a mink. If I'm positive, it's gonna be a drowning set. But if there's any chance that mink's gonna be alive, number 11, don't want them to be able to get to their foot. So uh, anyway, a little mink scent. I'm going to rebate this with uh, some more sardines. And uh, remember, God is great. Guns are good. Freedom is precious.